team through on like the rest of my life like just I think discipline is something that mm -hmm. has been instilled in me or that they've taught me <laughs> she's So my name is Avery Beimer, I'm a sophomore, so this is my second year at Texas Tech, and I've been around horses since I was two years old. My name is Marshall Condi, I'm a senior animal science equine production student with a minor in agricultural communication. Um, I got involved with horses when I was around 12 years old. I'm Maria Carter, and I'm a freshman, and I've been riding practically my entire life, like since I was a baby, I guess. But My name is Brooke Horton. I'm a freshman. I've been around horses since I was probably seven or eight. What is the discipline that you do or that you really like? So I rodeo. Um, my main event right now is a barrel racer, but I've roped, I've done go tying, and I've tried everything. <laughs> when that you like the yeah, most? so I show green cow horses. Okay. Well, I do, I've done a little bit of everything. I like right now, I'm focusing on like, um, I guess ranch horse. Mm -hmm. And I ride Western, and I'm on the equestrian team, and I ride Western Pleasure for the Western team. Awesome. Okay. So, as a student and having horses and taking care of them, we know it's not easy. Uh, it's almost like having a child, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> So it's a big responsibility, and as a college student especially, um, we have homework, we have jobs, and a lot of other responsibilities. But one I want to focus on is how horse riding can affect friendships. So to start off, do you think it's difficult to make friends as a student who rides horses? Actually, coming from Southern California, it was really difficult at home making friends because I was classified as like the weird horse girl and everything but here I made so many friends because horses are normal here everyone's like involved in ag of some sort and like it's been so much easier finding friends so making... I, I think it's difficult to make friends as a student but um, you can make friends in classes it's just really hard to find time to maintain those friendships like after class and after work because everyone has different schedules and having a horse um, at school is really time consuming. So you have to go feed in the morning before class and after class or work or whatever. So it's definitely hard to make friends and maintain those friendships while you're in school. Okay, so second, do you think you have made friends in the horse community? Um, was it easy making those friends? Um, are, you, are they different from like your ideal type of friends or why has it been difficult for you to make friends? Um, I'd say yes, I have made friends in the horse community. Um, you know, before I came to college, I didn't have any friends that did horses or anything like that. Um, but when I came to college and I brought my horses here and I, uh, you know, had my, kept my horses here at Tech, um, I was able to meet people that did have similar interests um, and so that was nice. I will say that the uh, horse world can be really harsh um, and it can be intimidating to get into if you aren't really from it. Um, and, like my family's not horse people. Um, I didn't really grow up with it until I had gotten a little bit older and I didn't have any friends that did it. So when I got here, you know, like one, I was like not super knowledgeable about everything. Um, and so it can be intimidating just in that aspect. And it's also a big money world, um, which is also very intimidating. But um, I was fortunate enough to make some really good friends here at Tech. I think yes and no <laughs> in like different situations throughout my life. Um, it's been a little more difficult in like in some not as much. Um, like I just said here, I made a lot of friends um, like when I come and take my care of my horse every day. But I think part of that is obviously being at a college most people here are like around the same age. Um, but like for example, at a barn that I used to board at, when I used to live in Nashville, Tennessee, I was one of the youngest there. And like everyone else was like adults. <laughs> They're like, I don't know, like 30 plus years. And so I didn't have many friends my age there. Um, 
So I didn't have, like, it was more difficult to make friends in that, like, good friends that, like, I go and hang out with. But, like, at the same time, like, all the adults there were super nice to me. <laughs> and, like, they all, like, looked out for me. So, like, I guess they're kind of my friends. They're not, they're just a different type of friendship. Yeah. Sure. But, like, it's a more, I guess, mature, like, aunt almost. Is there a time when you chose to prioritize or sacrifice something for your horse over your friends and family? Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, all the time. Um, yeah. Okay, so I guess one of my friends here that is not a horse person, I met her. Well, I went to um, Red Raider camp and I met her there. And um, we're pretty good friends. And, like, I, we sometimes, like, she'll ask me if I'm free. And I'm like, nope, sorry, I'm ready. <laughs> Or we'll have plans to hang out and I'm late because I was out here and yeah. had stuff to do. So and to me, it's worth it to sacrifice other things for my horse because he's more important to me. So. Yeah, I can't think of a specific time that I've done it, but I know that I have because having horses is a huge priority of mine. Um, my roommate says all the time, like, oh, well, don't you have to feed? And I'm like, yes, I don't really have to feed. I I'm gonna go feed because I want to and I love having my horse here so it's not really like I have to do this or I have to do that. Um, it is a priority of mine so um, yeah I have. Have you lost friends from being a horse rider? I've actually all through high school lost friends because of horses because it was weird to be in the horses because you're the horse girl. So, but I'm actually thankful for that because I didn't need those people in my life and I've made better friends because of it. So I think riding horses has been a good thing for me. Yeah, I don't think I've lost friends. Um, maybe not have the opportunity to make more friends, I don't know. But I wouldn't say I've lost friends. My friends are pretty supportive. Um, you know, even if they don't understand really yeah. everything that's happening or even what I'm telling them. Um, my friends that aren't horse people are really, I mean, pretty supportive of it. Has this lifestyle impacted you as a student and a friend? Uh, was it for the better, worse, or both? I would say that it has impacted me as a student and a friend. Um, sometimes I do feel really bad about missing parties, like birthday parties or hanging out with my friends because of it. I do feel bad that I can't be there for everything, but at the end of the day, like I said, I wouldn't, tra I wouldn't trade it for the world, so um, I would say it's impacted me as a student because it's hard to find time to study whenever you have work in class and you come to feed and ride your horses and do whatever it is that you have to do. Um, it's hard to find time to study, but it still gets done, so I wouldn't say that it's drastically impacted my life, but it's just made it a little more stressful, I guess. But like I said, wouldn't trade it for anything, so it's okay. Yeah, for sure. They're they're very humbling creatures. Um, you know, no matter what you do, like uh, the second you think you're like on top of the world, they're gonna knock you down a peg just to remind you, hey, like uh, take it easy, bud. Yeah. I like um, that. Yeah, and I think it. I mean, I think horses are God's gift to the earth, um, and that's one of the reasons. Um, as far as being a better student, I mean, just like having horses, you know, like from an early teen through on, like the rest of my life, like just, I think discipline is something that has been instilled in me, or that they've taught me. <laughs> She's missing her friend right now. Um, discipline is something that, uh, you know, I think I've learned from horses, um, as far as being a college student and having you know my horses here with me and having that responsibility it is tough uh, you know and um, it's tough be I mean it's tough to juggle classes alone and it's tough to juggle horses alone um, you know much less just being you know, an adult now for the first few years of your life and then having to deal with it all on your own but like is what it is and if you love it you're gonna make it work I think <laughs> yeah that's so true I well thank you so much for taking this time again to you know answer these questions and um, yeah really think about you know how friendships deal with this lifestyle that you're always busy you're always doing crazy things and um,
Sonia. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.